best pranks for us as a team, I think. I've been here for six years now, and uh, one of the biggest pranks here was Darcy or the Chuck. He had a lot of tricks, and uh, one day we got him back. We uh, nailed his shoe to the floor uh, in his locker, and he couldn't get the shoe out, so that's pretty funny. Team wants me to be less than an agitator. Um, that's fine with me. Uh, have you managed to keep it? Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about yeah, you yeah, a, little bit. a lot better. I think as a team, we're much better doing it now. Too, we're a more mature group, and uh, we're thinking about winning. It's all about the team. It's not about personal stats. It's not about personal achievements right now. We have only one goal, and that's the Stanley Cup. <laughs> You guys are having such an amazing season, whatever you're doing. Yeah, so far keep it's working, but we can keep going, you know? Yeah, if we can keep the hockey hurts aspect of things just on the down low in Vancouver yeah. for the next few seasons, that well, would be That's nice. the plan, you know? Uh, obviously, uh, we don't want to experience what we did the last couple of years, but uh, hopefully keep it on a good side and uh, get some wins. Can you guys win it all? Do you feel you've got the talent to go a long way in the playoffs this year? Oh, for sure. Uh, we've been a positive uh, group all year. We've been a team that uh, really believe in ourselves and we feel we're getting better and uh, we know uh, when we're on our game we're a really tough team to beat so uh, it's just a matter of putting it together at the right time and uh, have a good uh, run in the playoffs. Hypothetically speaking, let's say Game 7, Stanley Cup, you guys win. What are the chances the breakfast television could come inside the dressing room and drink champagne out of the cup? Could you make that happen? I'll make it happen for you. Get it done. <laughs> <laughs> Just get it done. It's part of the routine. Some people say it's superstitions. It's a bit crazy. But uh, you form good habits, you form a routine, and it gets you going and ready for the games. Do you guys have um, pre-game rituals when you're in town as far as superstition goes? Do you, do you have those sorts of things? Oh, it's more of a routine, I'd like to call it, uh, obviously. We don't want to make it witchy. No, exactly. <laughs> Some people might think it's crazy a little bit, but most of us have those routines that uh, nap from 2 to 4, as we from 2 to 4, and then we get up, we have a coffee, or then you eat a little bit, you go to drink, you stretch, you watch the PK meetings, power play meetings, the team meetings, uh, <laughs> Stretch certain kind of ways, tape your stick, and you get ready for the game. So you go, but it's right. always a, you'll see the guys at the same time at the same spot, and guys doing the same thing all the time. Well, has there been a moment, albeit through maybe a letter or a fan coming up to you, that really moved you, that made you realize, you know, what you do is not just a game on the ice; you're impacting people. Well, I think the biggest thing I get the fan mail, I get the. People asking for autographs and pictures on the street, but I think the best part is when we go to Children's Hospital. I think when you see the, the smile on the kids' face, uh, they're going through some tough times, and uh, but they just see us and they know they see us on TV, but it really makes an impact on their life, and that, that's where you really feel good about yourself. There's big fans out there. And you need to win the Stanley Cup this year, no pressure on that. Well, that's the plan, that's what we want to do, you know. We know the uh, last couple of years have been tough for the fans and uh, for us. Or, too, so uh, we want to do it for ourselves, but uh, it'd be nice to get it done for the fans. They are passionate, especially when it comes to Vancouver Canuck fans. I really think we have good fans here in BC too that are really supporting uh, our team and the Vancouver Canucks. And uh, you know they're always behind us. And uh, they're, it's a pack house every game at Rogers Arena, and uh, you can really feel their support and uh, the intensity in the building every night. Well, I think it's great to, uh, to have uh, some passionate fans in, in Vancouver that really supports the team and uh, find they kind of feel they're part of the team w w while they're uh, sitting at home watching the game and on Twitter at the same time. So it's kind of funny. I didn't really know it was that big, but I've heard about it. And uh, if fans feel they, they're making a difference, great, because uh, we know when they're passionate and loud at the building, uh, it gives us an extra gear and um, gets us going, that's for sure. Alright, take your shirt off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you said you that. first. Everybody, everybody together, same time. Help me. That'll make it all the better. I would like to see the flying V, the orange, black, and yellow. I, for some reason, I really like that jersey, but uh, I don't think it would uh, come back anytime soon. Oh, boxers or briefs was the other one all the girls want to know for you. Because we know about Kessler's underwear. Everybody wants to know about yours. No, I like the uh, Saks underwear. Those are my favorite ones. <laughs> hey, guess what? Same underwear as you. I didn't need to know that about you, man. <laughs> you now, I know, now I know your boys are segmented. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just say Saks. One, two, three. 